I started as a, uh, a Synclavier programmer, so synthesizers, sequencing, digital editing, very early on with hard disk recording. So then from there I became the guy who knew about Pro Tools and from there I started doing more engineering. I and mean, I always wanted to produce records. That's what I've always wanted to do is produce right. rock bands. Okay. Um, and when I started, every job in the studio was very separate and there was always a person to produce, a person to record, a person to mix, a person to edit, and then an assistant engineer and there were all these people and now uh, when I produce, I'm everything. So I produce, record, mix, usually I'm the assistant, I take care of everything. So the business has changed to where you do more things at once, um, but also I mean, I think it's good to have an understanding of what it takes to do everything. The times have changed. I mean, like I was saying, the you have to do so many jobs now that it's harder to be a specialist. So you see, you need to know how to do everything. But at the same time, yes, I think it's important to have something where when someone mentions your name, they say, oh, he's the guy who does that. But I did start off that way, where I got to be involved in a lot of projects because of one specific skill and without that I don't think I ever would have worked with the Rolling Stones and people like that because I came in to do something that no one else could do at the time. There was a guy in a band who once explained to me that when he was on tour he sang a lot of the background vocals but he's a bass player and the bass playing had to be so much of an automatic thing that he could just think about singing and I think that the technical part of recording, you have to know it so well that you never, ever, ever think about it because that's the job, but in the moment, you have to be responding to the people and the performance and everything that has nothing to do with the technical part. So the technical part has to be automatic. The whole record industry used to be based on this sort of mentorship thing. Everybody started off as a runner then they became an assistant engineer, and then they would become an engineer, and then maybe they would start mixing or become a producer or just stay as an engineer. So you were always learning from lots and lots of people. Um, and that really doesn't exist as much anymore. I mean, there's still, especially in the larger cities like Los Angeles and Paris, there are studios. So if you're lucky enough to get a job at a studio that makes the kind of records that you like, then that's perfect. That's just like the old times. But with technology and how much you can do just on a laptop, it's easy to start, but I think that um, that the education is very, very important because what I was saying earlier about the technical part of making a record has to be second nature. If you are teaching yourself, you learn one very specific way to do things, and then when something goes wrong, you have no idea what's going on, and it's all of a sudden you could spend hours trying to fix something instead of spending 10 seconds. So I think it's as important um, as ever to try and get education and in some ways um, recording schools are the only places left to actually go and learn how different microphones work and what acoustics have to do with recording and how to use Pro Tools properly and how to back up your files. Just all of the stuff that seems simple but you have to learn it somewhere. I mean, I've, I've been really lucky to work with some amazing artists and uh, amazing producers. I mean, obviously, working with Don Was and Rick Rubin as producers, I've learned a lot, and some of the bands, um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Adele and Black Sabbath, and that's all amazing. But I think, like, one of, um, one of the people who really helped me get started was a producer named Carmen Rizzo. And he's a fantastic engineer, and now he's an artist, and he's in lots of different bands, and he is one of the people who taught me to just make records and to have fun and be really creative and always try new things and to make sure that you do what you feel is important instead of doing what other people feel is important. Um, so he was a, a huge influence and gave me a lot of help when I first got to Los Angeles.